Oh, thank you very much. Uh, it's a pleasure to be joining you all today. Yeah, we are Philkins Drift, and we perform a mixture of tunes from Gloucestershire, which is where I'm from, and from Wales, where Chris is from, and try and find the, the links between those two. And that first tune was called The Girl I Left Behind Me, and I've known it for years and years and years as a, as a traditional Cotswold Morris dancing tune. And we recently did this big walk of Wales, um, 870 miles walking along the coast doing 50 gigs on the route as well, which is a lot of fun. Um, and we, we started playing that tune on the journey as we went round. And uh, we started out in North Wales. And someone said to us after we played that tune, oh, I'm, I'm so pleased you've, uh, you've played a quintessential North Walian folk tune. <laughs> I was like, oh, hang on. But then it's really interesting. I looked into the tune, and of course, like all folk music, it spreads around, and everyone puts their own take on the music and uh, has its own twist. But yeah, that was the girl I left behind me. And uh, yeah, the walk, it was essentially an experiment in sustainable touring, because as many of you will know, as musicians, in sort of whatever avenue of musical work you do, you spend a lot of time in the car, uh, or on trains, or on buses. And... Um, I was sitting one day in a traffic jam on the M5 looking out over the Malvern Hills, which are just south of Birmingham, where I live. And I was thinking, I'd much rather be there than stuck here, not going anywhere. Um, I'm feeling quite jealous of all, all the lucky people who get to walk to work every day. So we thought, I wonder if we could, you know, structure a tour so that we could walk to work every day for two months. Um, it's just that our walks were, were 15 miles on average, <laughs> with a fair bit more up and down. Um, yeah, so we chose the, the Wales Coast Path because uh, I'm from Cardiff in South Wales and we gigged a lot more in England um, pre-tour and I was sort of missing home and this next song that we're going to play really sort of encapsulates that feeling, I suppose. It's a, it's a Welsh folk song called Hiraith. And Hiraith, if you know any Welsh word, you might know that one. It, um, it's kind of one of these like untranslatable Welsh words, but really it just means longing. Uh, and is particularly used uh, in the modern day to mean a sort of longing for one's homeland. Um, so yeah, you could say that this, this song is the one that sort of kick-started the whole ridiculous walk. Uh, so yeah, this is our version of the Welsh folk song, Hiraith. <laughs> Kilia, Kilia, 
Hayda fuz o modru mala Mesa di pina tsurekhwin gadi mikael Kuski kronen Dervid aira, dervid arian Dervid melved, dervid sidan Dervid pol dishledin Elay tato arden Bi dervid hirai Thank you very much. We've just got one more for you now. And uh, this is a tune that we, we wrote along this journey. Part of the idea was to collect loads of local stories and songs and folklore and legends and things like that and, uh, and turn them into our interpretations of that and through music, which we, we started to do on the walk. But we, to be honest, we didn't really realize until we'd started quite how little time we'd have <laughs> <laughs> with walking for 15 or 20 miles and then doing a gig every night. Um, but yeah, we realized that on day three, actually. We, we started out in Chester and we headed along the River Dee. And the, the first couple of days were quite easy going. It's nice and long and flat and there's, there's, there's not much, not much to, to slow you down, really. And then it got to day three and we got to the Great Orm, if anyone knows it around there. It's a lo uh -huh, lovely part of the world. Uh, and that was our first long a long walk of about 22 miles that day. And we had a gig at 6 o'clock, and it got to, uh, to 5 o'clock, and we realized we still had quite a lot of miles to get under the belt. Uh, I'd say that day was less of a walk, actually, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we ended up running. We were playing at this tiny little chapel that had been there since the 6th century called St. Tidno's, right on the top of the Great Orm. And uh, we were scrambling up the bank, at one point, a little tram whizzed past us as well. It would have been nice to know about that. Uh, <laughs> uh, but we made it there with about 10 minutes to spare. And it was, it was that heat wave in September, which was, and we had all our instruments and mics and everything on our backs. But once we got there, it was, it was the highest point up there. And you could just, uh, there's not a single cloud in the sky and just looking down onto the sea way below. And it was, yeah, it was quite a magical moment. So uh, in those... Those 10 minutes, we quickly threw together this tune, which we named after the chapel there, and it's called Tidnose. Thank you. 